Shwetai Kurti from BGP BM Batch 2023 to 2025. Today we are going to talk about the impact of Scam 1992 on Indian economy. So as we know, in 1991, India has gone through a major financial crisis where Pegi Narasimha Rao was our Prime Minister and Manmohan Singh was our Finance Minister. They have reached out to IMF to get out of this particular crisis and have taken a lot of loan. And also under the conditions that we are going to improve our foreign exchange. So when, why India is progressing towards a liberalization, the scam 1992 has happened a year later after when the IMF has requested us to open the gates for foreign investment. So scam 1992 not only shook the stock market in 1992, but it also impacted the India's image in, with respect to foreign investments. Foreign investors were a bit scared because of this image that India had after the 1992 crisis. However, this was for a short term period. Overall, in the long-term period, there were multiple reforms, multiple banking reforms that government has immediately has taken care of just to ensure the safety of the money of middle-class people. The GDP has also been impacted in a shorter run because of this scam 1992. So the consumption went down because people didn't have money to spend and also the investment. So the private investors were a little bit scared to come out and invest on things as they were scared of this particular scams that has gone through in the stock market. If only the stock market scam did not happen, maybe some other scam or some other crisis would have definitely happened with respect to India's stock market, which was that time called BSE. However, after this particular crisis, we have moved into national level stock exchange, that is NSC, and we've got multiple bank reforms. So the reforms where we are, like, you know, the trading has happened digitalized. So this has led to a modernization of our banking sector. Also, along with it, we've also come up with SEBI rules, which are very more strict. So SEBI did not have powers initially in 1992 when the scam has occurred. However, after the scam, the, the government has taken care of the powers that has to be given to SEBI to regulate the stock exchange market. And longer period, even though the impact was huge on the money market, a strict reforms on the liquidity issues that was faced by the banks during that time since there was no money left with them was dealt by the government. Along with it, the banking sector also had faced a lot of issues with respect to stricter liquidity uh, issues from the RBI. So RBI had to come up with a strict monetary policy to get, keep everything in control. However, the positive side of this particular scam was overall on a longer run for the GDP increase and growth and the liberalization we were looking for, these reforms and this modernization has paced up India's speed on getting up into the uh, foreign investments or in the growth of consumption, investment and GDP. So overall, this is my short video on the impact of Scam 1992 on India's economy. Thank you.